put nothing but no more of this. And even he even scared Saudi Arabia to death. But he telling them they already buying weapons and helping them out. And he say, from now on, we're protecting you guys, and you're not paying us enough. Y'all remember that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he said it. He said you Middle Eastern uh, Persians, you guys, they had already bought bags, six bags of weapons. And, you know. <laughs> He told them right there, and they're sitting there. You guys use us for security and everything, and you ain't paying us enough. That's what the guy said. He said those things, and I mean, I was sitting there glary eyed. I said, I, I actually believe it because I don't think the whole TV people would. Have a ventriloquist up there. <laughs> yes. See, a mistake Don made. Nikki Haley should have been the one to do the talking because she's the UN. But since he's the president, he superseded her. Now, she's a fool too. But she wouldn't have been as big a fool as he was the way he did what he did. So that's the card of Allah. It made him that's, step that's right on out there and, and, and run the show. And just, I mean, even Nikki Haley was looking at him like, she couldn't believe it, you know, like, God. I don't want to talk about Mr. Bolton. <laughs> you know, Bolton is the one, y'all may not remember when he was the president of Columbia, and Ahmadinejad came, mm -hmm. and he was talking about Ahmadinejad before the program on public, the white folks, ABCC, they said that is not the proper way to treat a guest. That is that's what they said then. So what's the name just came up and say, in our country, if we invite you, we don't, we don't, do, you, we don't do that to people. We have an ancient culture. He talked about it pretty bad. I just watched a uh, documentary on uh, Munafa King uh, Cole. Yeah. He, they pay him. So he had no choice but to talk bad to you <laughs> about uh, Ahmadinejad. They, the Munafics, they all, they so the Congress, Pompeo gets his, his speech is written by Mario Rajavi, that was the leader. Yes, he, her husband died a while back. Not to talk about Munafics, but uh, it must have been around 85. 86, I tell you, it was 86 because the Rahbar was a president and he, he gave the best talk I ever heard before the UN. So we came from all over America to visit with him. I actually, that's the first time I met him personally. Zarif was in New York handling everything and uh, he brought myself and Muhammad uh, Al-Asi a few more. We spent personal time with him. But the followers of Imam Khomeini was on planes coming from all over. We got a plane in San Francisco. It was full of Iranians, Muslims, and Munafics. Mm. The plane was full. If you just lit this, the little spiral just blew the plane out of there. So this is the first time I'm sitting with them for six hours. They still had Pan Am then, the big Pan Am 747s. So when you ordered the food, all the Muslims got what they could. But the Munafics, they had a pork meal, and the Munafics was all eating the pork. I said, y'all are real Munafics. I mean, y'all, because they would play like they was kind of a Muslimish. <laughs> I said, man, y'all are real Munafics. Getting a pork chop? Good God, man, I'm loud talking to them. But anyway, we're a blessed community now. I'm going to try to skip a little bit. What do we do during the strategic 
period, what do we do in this strategic dynamic period? We have to watch about, which they don't, the strategy of unintended circumstances. Things that happen that you don't intend to happen. So that don't mean we're going to be cautious because this is not a period of caution, but it's a period of uh, using expertise. It's definitely not a period of uh, revenge or scorn or anything like that. What makes it easy is the cadre of Allah that makes everything come out of what we would consider good and healthy and wholesome. And when Allah answers your specific dated prayer, we want the, we want the people to laugh at Don to make we want Don to make a fool out of the United States. It happens. That's, that's uh, you know, that's it. You, you know, stop asking. Now, you got everything you asked for. Now I'm getting busy. That's, the, that's where we are. So I'll move toward a close by saying we are not behind the time. We are, at, as usual, ahead of time. In our calculations, our planning is all set up, but in our, and uh, it's not anybody's fault, but we are not organized and mobilized to take full advantage to help ease the world toward good. So that's, that's what our mission is right now. And our mission in going to California is to uh, The cases and what have you. Uh, since we don't have the time to play around, we may go strictly the the legal route. You know, the legal route with uh, competent lawyers and everything, and not as much about we want to tell our story they did this and another. Because for some reason, a lot of us wiped it. <laughs> Not wiped it out, we'll still take care of that because that's part of our mission. But that is incidental to the mission, it's not the mission. Uh, let me try to say that again. Before, if we had to talk about what is our mission? To show people that you can face the system head on for decades. If it's Allah's word, you can do that. You have it in your possibility to do that. So we didn't show them that. Who the people are, everybody knows who the people are. Okay, what, what could we do to Khadija and Abdul Malik them, the whole world? The, I haven't looked at everything they put on there. I mean, I copied it. But how they, they look crazier than Trump. They stuff, they say, they have already said stuff that is incoherent and it's not possible. It's just not, it's not real. It, it's, right? It, I mean, uh, for us to use any energy on it, we would be crazy ourselves. Right? I don't know if I told y'all the story about breatharianism. <laughs> When I first heard, I heard it on the radio, like I said, I listened to NPR all the time, I heard it. When I went to Youth Development Center, it was one of the black Afrocentric brothers with a PhD. He was, he was having a program at the East Oakland Development Center, right on 82nd and East 14th. So, uh, he said, you know, and there's all been talking to you together. You ever heard about breatharianism? I see you mean the guy that was talking about that uh, if you're properly, properly tuned with the 
somewhere on the spiritual this side that you could just breathe in and all the molecules and all the necessities that breatharianism you could breathe in. I said, well, the Creator gave us some teeth and digestive system and a behind for the soul. He said, yeah, that's a survival mechanism. I said, it sure is. If you don't do it, you won't survive. No, no, I don't mean that. that. That's to keep you alive until you reach the higher level. I said, so you say that we can breathe in all the vitamins, minerals, proteins, and everything we need. Yes. That's what I heard. I said, I was probably closer to the dirty. I call them bulls, something or other. And they, and they, hey man, Afrocentric as you are, an old dumb white man come up telling you that. Now the white man, before that there was a big TV, there was a radio program, you know, calling show. And this is the way I look at our people back to food. They was calling, they were trying to disprove breatharianism and all that. Uh, by the way, the guy that was, that was pushing breatharianism, he got caught coming out of McDonald's with a big Mac and fries and stuff. But before that, no down to earth white man called he said, you people are stupid. <laughs> You're stupid arguing with that fool about that SHF, you know, that type of stuff. And that's the way I feel about what's the name them. The stuff they say is so foolish. I would feel like a fool trying to disprove. I ain't did nothing, ma'am, you will, did me, ma'am, you will. I'd be a damn fool. Everybody knows that, right? And everybody knows that it's not possible for me to do nothing they said. I can't. Uh, and me in with the police, well, why the hell I got to go to jail every other week? Got a car run off the road and the tires blow up. Everything, the poker brother tells boop, it blows up all the time. And don't nothing happen to them. They don't never go to jail. If they did, they go to jail for shooting dogs. And uh, white folks was at that court, and they let the nigga go free. <coughs> you know, so that was that's how we would be. We'd be a damn fool trying to disprove anything anybody said. And the other thing is, a lot of proved everything we said. So that means that we would return with gratefulness. Answered all the doers. We'll stay focused. Okay. Lectures, doers, forecasts, predictions, all. The ability to uh, influence the direction of change. That's where we want to go. So we're working on how to organize it, how to coordinate it, and how to carry out sufficient action to achieve organizational goals. Uh, there's a lot of other stuff in here, but I think we didn't went through uh, a lot of it. Uh, so we should be going back to Oakland sometime this week, inshallah, whatever it is. Everything is already, uh, as they used to say, everything is everything. <laughs> we just go and we automatically don't allow anything to affect our focus. That we focus on the legal aspects and all of that. Not only maybe some little diversions that they got laid out for us. 
and we want the people watching and listening to begin to step up to the plate. Evolution and revolution are collective enterprises, not individual enterprises. So thank you very much. Before you cut them off, are there any questions or comments? Any questions, any comments? I did have a question. <laughs> it, was, um, it was on the topic of focus. That's what made me remember it. It was um, uh, it's escaping me. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, focus and you saw focus in general. Yeah. It ain't hocus pocus. It's yeah. all about focus. Yeah. Well, I, I remember it's um like what type of um. Because I'm, I'm still struggling with the focus thing myself. Like, what type of, uh, what, what practice do you do to, to strengthen focus? Like, to keep, you know, life those haymakers and then, you know, like, what type of, how do you strengthen that? No, you know? that's what goes, that's what I remember. Out of all the mumbo jumbo of uh, strategic management and all that, we do the simplest form. What helps keep us focused is our goals. Our goals. Where we want to go. What we want to look like when we get there. Kind of, uh, now we'll add timelines. We never had timelines before because uh, we just let the, the flow. But now, period is critical. So we had where you want to go, you'll find out how to get there. What do you want to look like when you arrive there? How do you know when you will arrive? You can arrive. That helps you keep focused. So everything that happens, does this help me to get there, or will it take me away? So that's.